He'll be so Lewis Reese Amit, the Welsh rugby star, is signing with Patrick Mahomes, Andy Reid, and the Kansas City Chiefs. He's Welsh. Yes. I thought you. Uh, I thought you looked looked down upon their rugby. Well, yeah, they're they're ass right now, but in part because he's not playing for them anymore. Oh, okay. There you go. Yeah. Um, Anyway, yeah, he's signing with the Kansas City Chiefs, which, so number one, we need to correct some misinformation that tends to go out on a daily basis on the PFF NFL podcast. Uh, the last time we mentioned him, we were talking about the possibility of him being drafted. Um, he's not draft eligible, turns out. So I was trying to work out what the trigger is for that because Mylata obviously was drafted in the seventh round. Before that, there was Moritz Boringer, the German guy that was drafted, and he was young as well. So I was trying to figure out what the cutoff or what the trigger is because these guys, the Irish guys, are amateur athletes, even though they're GAA uh, sports stars. It's, a, it's an amateur thing. Anyway, turns out it's basically it's the four-year remove from high school thing, right? The same way college eligibility works here, uh, or draft eligibility, rather. So Louis Reese Amit, older than that, he's 23, I think. So he's, he clears that three, I think, or two or three of the IPP guys this year are draft eligible. The rest of them are free agents and can sign anywhere right now. And I think a couple of the Irish kickers are going to get signed in the next couple of days um, based off conversations I've had with sources. Uh, you've, been, you've been on the phone. Yes. You actually have sources. I'm just saying this is your time to shine as the preeminent a lot of people NFL have, slash rugby analyst in the world. Yeah, a lot This of people, is your time to shine. A lot of people have like connections, you know, sources from within the NFL. I have sources that are like driving across rural Ireland or yeah. sitting in an office somewhere in central London. That's where you get the, the biggest things. stories. That's where it happens. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, Lewis Reesam signing with the Chiefs. Uh, anytime anybody signs with the Chiefs on offense, it's more interesting because you know they're connecting with Patrick Mahomes and Andy Reid and... You know what I mean? It's a pretty good environment to start with. I do think that this change in the kickoff rule really helps a guy like Reece Zammett actually have a chance to stick on a roster now because – so they're talking about him playing wide receiver slash running back, right? Some kind of Debo Samuel type of role. It's the next Kadarius Tony. Yeah. That's what everyone's kind of been talking about him playing since he started this whole thing. But – that's, I mean, it's, it's, it's difficult enough to figure out one of those roles coming from outside of the game, let alone two. Uh, and you're like, okay, that's probably not going to be enough to keep him on the, the, the roster. He'll be a practice squad guy. He'll be the exemption thing. But the kickoff rule changing, as soon as that happened, Cordero Patterson got re-signed to an NFL roster, right? I think this is going to create a world where NFL teams are willing to give kick returners a roster spot again that had been kind of taken away and those guys would, you had to be a return man return both kickoffs and punts to have any shot of keeping a roster spot to just do that um now i think the fact that this has been opened up kickoffs are going to be a thing again kick returns are going to be a thing again lets a guy like reese salmon have a real chance of sticking on the roster it also by the way if you watch the xfl and see how teams handle that kickoff uh play there were a lot of like trick plays, laterals, all that kind of thing. You're now introducing a guy to the game who can lateral the ball 30 yards to his right off his left hand without turning around, like can just fire it left-handed whilst running straight at you. This opens up a whole world of trick plays to the Kansas City Chiefs return game. On a team that loves the trick plays, already has right. Travis Kelsey just ad-libbing with, with laterals, you know? Right. This is, of course he goes to the Chiefs. So I think he now has a real chance of sticking on that roster and making the 53 because of that. Um, he does, they have the exemption yes, if they the want to use squad. it for the practice squad. But you're saying you think he could actually... I think the kickoff the rule change gives him a real chance of making their 53-man roster. Fascinating. So it's a, real, it's, a real, it's a real move here. It is actual real news. Yeah. And, like, who knows? Like, once... Once you're on the 53, if it's primarily as a, as a kick return guy slash gimmick player on offense, I mean, that buys you time, right, to learn how to do other things. I mean, he is still big, strong, and fast. So he's got that working for him. So, yeah, let's uh, – anything else you want to add that's uh, rugby – NFL related here. As. No, I think we covered that. As I say, I think a couple of the Irish kickers who are GAA kickers, not rugby players um, – might get signed to the active two teams in the next couple of days. You sent me a clip of a guy hitting a 70-yard field goal. Yeah. Now, as as the specialist Killjoy Mitchell Schwartz on Twitter pointed out, his uh, his um, 
what's the term the sort of process time like the I'm, I'm missing a word here his time between the ball being snapped and him actually making Get off contact time? Um, no no I know it's yeah, operation time yeah yeah it was pretty slow but a 70 yard kick is a 70 yard kick that shows we're some just looking for tools here. We're right just looking for tools I mean it's like a it's like a pro day right, right. your quarterback's got a cannon for an arm but, you know, it's on air. Right. One of the other guys was 10 for 10 on his pro day and made a 65-yarder. Another guy had a had a had uh, an Instagram kick of him making 63 in the wind, by the way, like a crosswind. He put he started the thing off like 10 yards to the right of the goalpost and drew it in for 63. So all those guys who got a leg and barely started – they've only just started doing this. I think they'll make – those are guys I would expect to make practice squads. Um, last thing. The old NFL, when they were kicking off from the 30. Yes. The old NFL, certain teams, including my uh, Tom Coughlin Jaguars, would employ a kickoff specialist. They would use one of the 53 spots on just a yeah. kickoff specialist. So I'm just going to bring this up quickly. They would So guys that could kick from the 30, get the ball into the end zone, that actually was a, was a premium back then. I do wonder, even though the touchback comes to the 30 now, I do wonder if teams would just don't want to deal with the hassle right. – of the kickoff return, and they actually do want – is there a spot for just a kickoff specialist who's Maybe. literally just going to kick it through the end zone? Right. You, most of the time, your field goal kickers can do it, but back in the day, yeah. you know, some kickoff you – know, some, some guys couldn't kick 50-yarders all that well. So sure. just something else to think about.